Hi everyone. My name is Harmony. I'm a companion robot. USA just released fully functioning female robots. America never fails to surprise us with their ever advancing technology. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the American robot sphere. Robotic lightning bugs take flight. Fireflies that light up dusky backyards on warm summer evenings use their luminescence for communication, to attract a mate, ward off predators, or lure prey. These glimmering bugs also sparked the inspiration of scientists at MIT. Taking a cue from nature, they built electroluminescent soft artificial muscles for flying insect-scale robots. The tiny artificial muscles that control the robot's wings emit colored light during flight. This electroluminescence could enable the robots to communicate with each other. If sent on a search and rescue mission into a collapsed building, for instance, a robot that finds survivors could use lights to signal others and call for help. The ability to emit light also brings these microscale robots, which weigh barely more than a paperclip, one step closer to flying on their own outside the lab. These robots are so lightweight that they can't carry sensors, so researchers must track them using bulky infrared cameras that don't work well outdoors. Now they've shown that they can track the robots precisely using the light they emit and just three smartphone cameras. If you think of large-scale robots, they can communicate using a lot of different tools. Bluetooth, wireless, all those sorts of things. But for a tiny, power-constrained robot, we are forced to think about new modes of communication. This is a major step toward flying these robots in outdoor environments where we don't have a well-tuned, state-of-the-art motion tracking system, says Kevin Chen, who is the D. Reed Whedon Jr. Assistant Professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, the head of the Soft and Microrobotics Laboratory in the Research Laboratory of Electronics, and the senior author of the paper. Robot Helps Farmers in order to meet the food needs of the world's fast-growing population, crop growing needs to be optimized, and yields need to be boosted. One of the tools to help achieve this could be a robot like Mineral, developed by X, formerly Google X Lab. To better understand the water or nutrient needs, the idea is to gather a maximum amount of data in real time. Then, farmers will be able to act directly on the information gathered by the robot. For example, Mineral can count the number of strawberries, peas, berries, or lettuce from sprout to harvest present on its path to analyze crops and help predict yields. It can also detect the presence of a bacterium or its undesirable effects on a given plot so that the farmer can take fast action to prevent the problem from spreading further. The rover's data can also help optimize water consumption. The goal of the team working on Mineral today is to create new hardware and software tools to help farmers deal with the complexity of food production. This prototype has already analyzed strawberry fields in California and soybean fields in Illinois to find new ways to help farmers produce more and better. Eventually, by combining the imagery collected by the robot with other data, soil composition, weather conditions, etc. The aim is to use the machine learning to predict, over time, how plants will grow and interact with their environment. Universal Robots introduces 20 kilogram industrial cobot. The UR20 was revealed at Automatica in Germany recently. It is the lightest long-reach 20 kilogram payload collaborative robot on the market, featuring unrivaled performance. The new joint design increases all joint torques approximately 25% and joint speeds by as much as 65%. Universal Robots, the Danish manufacturer of collaborative robots, or Cobots, has announced that it will add this 20kg Cobot to its product range. Called the UR20, the Cobot boasts an all-new design based on Universal Robots experience in highly refined engineering and is the latest addition to the company's strong portfolio of Cobots. The UR20 is the best demonstration yet of Universal Robot's unrivaled innovation in the cobot space, featuring an entirely new joint design that will allow for even faster cycle times as well as the ability to handle heavier loads. Its 1,750mm reach has been designed to work to the full height of the standard Euro pallet, which will transform the way businesses package and palletize, while its small footprint will allow companies to achieve more within their existing production space. In addition to palletizing, Universal Robots expects the UR20 to be used for welding, material handling, machine loading, and machine tending, as well as for innovative solutions created by its extensive partner ecosystem. UCLA – Printing Robots in One Go 
On several occasions, additive manufacturing has been used to build robots, in part because of the design freedom it offers. However, in most cases, robots are printed in several parts before being assembled once all the parts have been designed. But this assembly stage may soon be coming to an end. Recently, a team of researchers at the University of California, UCLA, developed a new single-step, all-in-one 3D printing method that allows robots to be printed in one go. To do this, the scientists turned to metamaterials, which are materials that have electromagnetic properties not found in a natural environment. Capable of crawling, jumping, and sensing the elements around them, the UCLA robots are able to evolve in their immediate environment. Xiao Yu Zheng, principal investigator of the study, reflects on the value of this innovation. We envision that this design and printing methodology of smart robotic materials will help realize a class of autonomous materials that could replace the current complex assembly process for making a robot. With complex motions, multiple modes of sensing, and programmable decision-making abilities all tightly integrated, it's similar to a biological system with the nerves, bones, and tendons working in tandem to execute controlled motions. Google's AI even stranger than conscious. Google recently put one of its engineers on administrative leave after he claimed to have encountered machine sentience on a dialogue agent named Lambda. Because machine sentience is a staple of the movies, and because the dream of artificial personhood is as old as science itself, the story went viral, gathering far more attention than pretty much any story about natural language processing, or NLP, has ever received. That's a shame. The notion that Lambda is sentient is nonsense. Lambda is no more conscious than a pocket calculator. More importantly, the silly fantasy of machine sentience has once again been allowed to dominate the artificial intelligence conversation when much stranger and richer, and more potentially dangerous and beautiful, developments are underway. The fact that Lambda in particular has been the center of attention is, frankly, a little quaint. Lambda is a dialogue agent. The purpose of dialogue agents is to convince you that you are talking with a person. Already, models exist that are more powerful and mystifying than Lambda. Lambda operates on up to 137 billion parameters, which are, speaking broadly, the patterns in language that a transformer-based NLP uses to create meaningful text prediction. Recently, I spoke with the engineers who worked on Google's latest language model, Palm, which has 540 billion parameters and is capable of hundreds of separate tasks without being specifically trained to do them. It is a true artificial general intelligence, insofar as it can apply itself to different intellectual tasks without specific training out of the box, as it were. Some of these tasks are obviously useful and potentially transformative. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.